guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and today I am going to show you how to make an outdoor balloon arch, a giant outdoor balloon arch. This is about 27 feet probably, uh, maybe a little bit more, 28, uh, three times eight and a half. You can do the math. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to make this start to finish. Sit tight and here we go. Okay, so here we are in the hardware store, and what I've got here is I've got a three-quarter inch flange. Now, you guys in the UK, I understand that that's kind of a not-so-nice word, but here in the United States, that is what this thing here is called. It's called a flange. So you guys have asked me about this before, like what actually it is, and it's this little piece right here. Hello. So we also have a, a three-quarter inch nipple which is gonna screw right into the flange there. And then we're gonna get some EMT, that's the metal, um, and that we're gonna slide into the into the, uh, the little threaded pipe, um, and then we'll duct tape it together, and then when we put the EMT over it, it'll all come together, as you will see when we get there. So I just wanted to uh, take you here to the hardware store and you could see as I get these pieces and what we do to it. So um, I've been getting a lot of questions about that. So stay tuned uh, because we need to move to a different, <laughs> I got the hiccups too. We gotta move to a different aisle. See you in a minute. Okay, so before we were in the plumbing aisle and now we are in electrical and what you see me holding here is two pieces of half inch EMT. These are 10 feet long, way longer than I need them. We're gonna have them cut down to about three and a half feet, um, a few pieces of three and a half feet. Um, but this is how they come, is as 10 foot pieces. And like I said, it's in the electrical aisle. So that's one thing that we need. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is a place that people get really confused. Let me just try to get this on there for a moment. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, so here's something that I get a lot of emails about, people asking me about. And people get really confused about which PVC to buy. This is PVC. It is the um, plastic tubing. Now, there's a gray one and a white one. The white one you find in uh, plumbing, and the gray one you find here in electrical. And we need the electrical one because we need it with... Whoops, sorry. With these bells on the end, okay? These bells that are on the end are pretty much the key to the success of this um, because they lock together. And the white PVC does not have the bells. The white PVC is you need separate connectors. And those separate connectors can be hit and miss in terms of how well they will stick together um, if you don't glue them or use a tap screw or something like that. So this is three quarter inch, um, three quarter inch gray uh, electrical PVC. So we are gonna want for each arch, we're gonna want three pieces and then we're gonna have them cut down also. Um, so these also come in 10 foot lengths. Ultimately, we're gonna have them cut to about eight, eight and a half feet. Um, and we're gonna have two pieces that we keep the bells on and one piece that we're gonna cut the bell off of so that it will in lock into the bells of the other two pieces. And as you can see, this three quarter inch uh, PVC will easily <laughs> slide onto the EMT. You can, you can see there, it's really awkward because I'm in a store aisle and I've got 20 foot of length here. You might have to like kind of squish it up a little bit to like insert it in, but you see it just slides in. And so that's why we want the three quarter inch PVC and the half inch EMT because we want to be able to slide one into the other there for stability. Okay, so that's that. We're going to go ahead and pick these pieces and then get them cut. Um, one more thing that I want to tell you, I'm not showing you the wood because I already have my bases set, and that is that when you pick out your wood, you want to make sure that you get plywood and not press board, okay? Do not use press board. Press board will fall apart if there's any wind or any torque, so you want plywood. 
Um, one more little tip is that if you use uh, carriage bolts instead of regular screws, it's also gonna be stronger because it comes up from the bottom. So there you go, a couple of tips. We're gonna get these cut down and I'll see you in a bit. Now when you want to take it apart, like you just kind of twist and pull, um, it takes some elbow grease, but it is possible. All right, so let me just, watch out, jump. Let me just flip this around. And the reason that we're using three quarter inch, quite simply, is because it's outdoors and I want to make sure that we have something that's really sturdy and is not going to be sloppy if there's wind. So. And that way you'll know that it's stable. Huh. Unlike that. Oh shit. And then I just lost the whole thing. As I was saying, shove it in there and like really twist it good. If you feel insecure, you can always put some duct tape on it as well. And then test it. Try to pull it apart. Okay, so that's so that's that. Um, let me turn my phone off. Ah, whoops. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is I already have these um, sections of balloon that we already made. These are these are um, six quads, and I've shown you in other videos how you're gonna take the quad and then basically you, you know you're gonna figure eight to two sixty through it like this. And then you add the next quad and figure eight it in until you have your stacks. You don't have to do them in six. The only reason that I did six is because it makes it easier to keep track of the rainbow and where we need to stop for the next section. Normally I do it in uh, sections of 10 quads um, just because it's easier to transport. And I know that I need 50 quads for the arch. We had these cut to about almost eight and a half feet each. It's gonna take about 50 quads or so. And the quads, the balloons, are sized to um, about eight inches each. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna start with our red. And usually what I do is I'll just take it and like push it down. You see how it just kind of gets absorbed right into there? Just like that. And then now I'm gonna come and, and uh, wrap the balloons around it just to make it nice and tight. So, as I was saying, we're going to continue to just kind of trap the, the uh, pole right inside here. Now, I want, you to, I want you to see that, I mean, from certain angles, you will always see the pole, but for the most part, the balloons really hide it. And when people look at the arch, especially since this is outside, they see the color. They don't see the, the gray inside, they don't see the negative space, they see the bright colors and that's what we want them to see. Now another way that you could do it, I'll show you in just a second with the, with the runaway purple, I'll show you how you could do it if you want to do it just one quad at a time. You could do that too. <coughs> you see first I'm just going to push it on and then make sure that it's snugged into where it's supposed to be and then twist them on. Okay, so if 
you just want to do it quad by quad, that works too. So you see basically the same thing. You're just going to put it on, figure out where its happy place is, or you could do it with the arch already standing if you want, and then make sure that when you twist them, you're twisting them around the pole and not just around each other. Okay, just like that. Now, I'll show you when we go to put it onto the base plate what we're going to do. Um, the Muner Maid only gave us 40 minutes <laughs> to finish both arches, so we'll see you in a minute. Now I'm going to show you how we're setting up the base plates. We got our base plate. You see, I have my flange. It's screwed in with carriage bolts. You see those look like this on the bottom. They're not actually like screws. It's a little bit different. And then they come up with the little nut here, and then they tighten. So if you use carriage bolts instead of um, instead of regular wood screws, then you have just another layer of protection. So I'm going to put one here and one right here because this is approximately the width of the arch. Okay, now I have my um, my nipples, my threaded pipes, and hopefully. <laughs> Remember that 10 foot piece of EMT that we had? Well, here it is. We've cut it down to about three and a half feet. I'm just gonna put it right there and there like that. And just to make like extra certain that it's good and secure, I'm going to uh, tape it. So you see we got some duct tape here. Now, really important when you're doing duct tape, is that you want to go at the diagonal, not straight across because then it will come out. At a diagonal like this. So give it some on the bottom to like, give it a good grounding. And then we kind of come up on that diagonal and then I'm gonna kind of double over and go back down. Just like this, okay? So now this is super solid. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the same thing over here. Oops, I need my pole. sandwich it. Okay. I don't know if you can see. You got it over here? Yeah, I'm good. You see, I'm just going to insert this right in here like that. Okay? Just like that. You see, it slides all the way to here. And yes, we are gonna need to add some extra quads to hide that. But this is not 
going to slide off of all three and a half feet. So this is pretty secure like this. All right, I'm going to go do the other side and then we'll have to put the camera away for a minute because I'll need both hands to lift it up. I should say all four hands. <laughs> here you see just uh they try to give you a better end of me <laughs> just slide it in just like so as far as you can all right and we're gonna put the camera away and put it up together now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add quads to the bottom to hide the mechanics Until next time, just go forth and balloonify.